What's up, people? Today I'm gonna try putting some of this into there. Uh, so the instructions say that I need to put 30 mils per liter of engine oil. So I'm gonna start off by doing that. It's basically, for me, it's gonna be about half, half a can straight into the engine oil. So let's start off by doing that. Uh, then you've got to run it uh, for about 100 kilometers to 400 kilometers, let it do its work, and then you do your oil change. So I'm going to try it out. I'm going to take some video, uh, hopefully hear some change in pitch and so on in the engine after it's run and done its thing, and I do the oil change. So before and after, here we go. Sea foam. First thing, let's start it up so we can hear the before noise of the engine. Still a bit cold, but uh, here's the before noise. Which in my opinion sounds pretty good, but we'll see if the uh, sea foam does anything. All right, trying this again with the engine off. Don't uh, do what I did and try and put it in while the engine's running, anyway. And then don't kick the can over. So, uh, gonna go about half a can of this. That's about half, and then the rest, I'm just gonna dump into the fuel, just to use up the can. Until the diesel it goes. I'm gonna put the lid back on. Probably smoke a bit because I spilt that everywhere. Um, I'll check back in, I guess, in a few hundred kilometers, see if there's any noise difference, and then um, I will do the oil change slightly thereafter. So let's go log the kilometers that's on the gauge, and then I'll come back after. So I'm at that. There we go. Okay, so see you at 5.87. So I'm only at 5.44 and I swear this sounds different. The engine's running really smooth. I don't know if it's just a coincidence, it's a little bit warmer out today, but I can barely hear the engine. This thing's loud, 3B. Anyway, I haven't done the old change yet. Um, I want to go another 75 kilometers, maybe, maybe another 100 kilometers. Then I'll change, and then I'll do a before and after comparison. But I swear already, it's quieter. All right, time for that oil change. I've got the kilometers in, and let's get the engine warm, get the oil warm, and go change that fluid. All right, finally getting that oil change under here on the 3B diesel. 19 mil wrench now that your car is nice and hot. Whoa. Oh no. No. Oh. <laughs> That sucks. Ah. <laughs> Why? It's everywhere. <laughs> Oil everywhere. <laughs> well, that's never happened before. Now that I've cleaned up after that, of course it missed the tarp and went all over the asphalt. Um, take a look in here, make sure there's no metal filings. Mine looks good. Hey, hey, hey. Next, uh, we're gonna unscrew the oil filter. All right, oil filter down there. Let's get this off.
gonna be putting on a K&M filter. It's the 3001. And I like to use the Rotella T4 1540 triple protection for the oil. And we'll put that in. It takes about six liters, maybe a bit more. Now go ahead and pre-fill up that new filter with some of that T4. Don't forget to put a little bit on that seal. All right, fill the oil, check the dipstick, make sure you're at the right amount. Lid back on, go for a drive, check the dipstick again, and top up as necessary. So I'll do a cold start in a few days and listen to the noise and see if there's an improvement from when I first put in the seafoam. Look how black that is. Typical diesel oil change. Oh. So a bit hard to tell, but if you listen closely, you can actually hear that the valve tapping noise is actually decreased in the after videos. So in conclusion, I'd say it worked, and I'd probably do it again on the next one.